Welcome to WRL Broadcast. I am Hate Mail. With me today, we have a burger. What's up? And we have special guest, Du Boy. Yo, yo, yo. And one day when I'm not crazy busy, I'm going to make a special intro. Call this the Burger Shack or something. Because uh, Burger has made it a habit now. Is, is this going to be like an all a permanent thing? Getting the new tunes? L5 at um, least? I don't know. I, uh, this is going to be, you know, last month I got bit <laughs> big time uh, with Impulse where I was getting stomped by like R2s. But um, I, actually I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with uh with the choice so far this month but yeah i'll i'll keep it going and see until i until i just have a couple rough months in a row so developers if you guys are hearing keep making a really good character every month and you can at least count on me to to buy it up pretty quickly yeah there, I noticed there, was, there was a few people that went to l1 l2 this month i yeah. I, I refrained i decided not to do it this month although i'm starting to regret it a little bit because bleed seems great but let's start with shiva since that is going to be the tune that the least amount of people have. I think you and M4 are the only two people I know of that have them. So, um, what are your just overall thoughts? How do you like her? Um, so, I mean, she really counters Black Flash really well. Um, and so, I mean, I think, I mean, obviously having the 35%. Um, starting off 35% turn meter up, like is, I mean, it's awesome. Annoying, uh, uh, ignoring awareness is great. Uh, I mean, she hits really hard, can, you know, can crit regularly. I mean, she is a really powerful tune. Um, and so, I mean, I personally, I, I, this is probably my favorite that we've taken so far since Azrael. Wow. So yeah, wow. I, I, I'm a, I'm a fan so far. That's high praise. The um, now when you say she counters Black Flash, because she goes very first, and this is my problem with Batwoman, is don't you slam into a, an enemy wall, or does the AOE do, do enough damage to kill him? So what? So I don't usually start off with the AOE. Like I start off with the two. Okay. Um, you know, with her Leopard Blow, where you know it's heavy damage to a single enemy, um, and then and so that's that's really what. If you can get to him, like that will take out. Um, like I've I've taken out RB four, um, but obviously she's RB one. But I've taken out RB fours in one hit. Um, RB fives, I, I I didn't quite get it all the way there. But it, you know, if she crits on that, um, like you're you're doing some major damage. Now will that kill? How does that do against Grundy? Just I have not taken out a Grundy yet. Okay, I was just curious if mm. did enough damage for that. But I mean, he has the crit immunity, so that kind of he does. Sense. Yeah, I mean he's one tanky mofo. So you know, really against Grundy, like you know, you don't. I don't want to use that like on on Grundy, like her two. And so usually, what I, I'll start off with is her one, and which you know purges the four buffs. And so at that point, you know, I can I can wipe away everything from Grundy, and then it kind of exposes everybody else. So. Now, what would you say, just as kind of an early thoughts for Legendary Order for her? Uh, have to start off with her five first. Uh, I mean, getting the 35% turn meter up, um, you know, her starting off with crit immunity. So that, in my mind, like, that's that's huge. And then, really, I mean, it's a close second with her four uh, with ignoring awareness, although it is bugged, right, because it's only ignoring one awareness. Um, and then wiping off a second one uh, when whenever she hits, but you know using so that that to me like those are her top two and um, but you have to start off with a thirty five percent turn meter up. Gotcha. Yeah, and I would say I I, I think that her four is probably really good too. And then what would you go with after that? Probably my guess is would be one, but that that's what yeah just because. That kind of gets you into, like, if you're facing a Donna Troy where she probably won't be, like, I've taken Donna Troy's and, and she's taken them out, but um, if it's just going to do heavy damage, like, that'll at least get rid of the taunt from her or Grundy or Chemo or whoever's out there that, that's a meteor taunter. Um, that way you can at least start exposing everybody else on their team to, to other people. And then what would you say would be? The next one, her two or three. I would think her two because it seems like it does good damage. But I agree. 
Yeah, that and since it resets it, I mean, because that that hits really hard. And so, you know, at that point, like you can, you know, hopefully use it multiple times. So like whenever I if somebody's not protecting their black flash, absolutely take out their black flash with the two and then it resets it and you can hit somebody else really hard after that. Cool. She does seem like a good character. What would you say her team comps, just based on a little early use, would you? Um, so, really, like, I've, I mean, like, I, in my mind, it's more about, like, trying to kind of protect her and let her kind of hide and just keep hitting from behind. Um, and so, like, I, the, I, I've used her with Lex several times, but, you know, all characters at buff, Lex is a great one. Um, you know, Martian Manhunter, I've been using her a lot with. Um, just to kind of help her add on the awareness. But, I mean, since she continues to add on more and more awareness, like, as she crits, um, I mean, like, I've had matches where, like, at the end of the match, she has, you know, 12, 13 awareness stacked up. Um, And so, you know, she really, like, with me, like, she can work with most teams. Um, I mean, and, and kind of, like, you just kind of hide her or protect her with somebody and, and just let her sit there and, and do her thing, and, and she works out pretty well. Yeah, she says, I'm, I didn't think I was going to like her at all, but after seeing some of your video and seeing some of M4's video, she definitely seems like she's a little bit better than I would have thought she'd be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she uh, definitely surprised me at first. DeVoy, you have any thoughts on her? Um, not yet. Not really. I've only pl- I've only faced burgers uh, like one or two times, so that's I about it. I haven't come across burger at all in there. I've run into M fours, but he didn't have her on the team. So um. yeah, it was when I when I ran into burgers, it was like my team did good on on offense, and then he like sent me back the video, and it was like it just got popped. So <laughs> she might be one of those like I mean I don't know. Burger can probably attest this a little bit more. She I think she's going to be one of those more like hyper offensive tunes. No, for sure. Yeah, you definitely have to protect her, and uh, if, if you're if you're gonna get the most out of her. But yeah, she. Uh, I, so I ran the back the same team that you beat me with, and I just ran yeah. auto. And yeah, obviously, like my black flash got to go first, and so that's really set the stage. And then you know she was or after her, but he was able to go, and you know his AOE took down everybody. So I think that was the big part of it. But yeah, I mean she when she gets going, if, if you can protect her, like it's. She's pretty powerful. All right. Well, let's move on to Bleed. The main event. The main event. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, Burger, we'll start with you before we let Du Bois go ham on her. Uh, what are your – you yes. have her L5. And you had Shiva RB1, right? I do. So give you an idea. He had the full full test. But what are your early thoughts on Blee's? So love her as a tank. Um, with with this, like I feel like when you're playing with her, like you kind of have to like set the stage a lot. So like this is one that I think you really need to try to watch who your team comps are with. Um, whereas like Shiva, I think she kind of plugs into a lot of rosters. Um, with Blee's, at least what I've seen, like you. Um, she absorbs energy pretty great, but a lot of it, a lot of her kit kind of relies on others being enraged. Um, and, and not just the person that's playing like I was enraged yesterday when I got destroyed in siege. (laughs) Um, so no matter what, no matter how angry I was getting, she wasn't, she wasn't feeding off that. So, um, but you really have to find like the proper tunes with her, uh, and what I've seen. Uh, to keep, if they're enraged, like that's where she's going to do, you know, a lot of, where, where it really brings a lot of her kid alive. All right, the boy, what are your? I have thoughts? a question. I have a question for Burger real quick because sure. he has her all all maxed out and whatnot. On her second ability, where it says apply heal immunity if an enemy is taunting, that's to the whole team, right? Like everybody gets heal immunity. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, I, I, I need to go back and look, but I believe that is right. Yes. Okay. That's the way it like reads, but yeah. sometimes, you know, skills don't exactly do what they read. They do. That's better than I realized. Cause I didn't think it did that. 
I, I, I believe it does. I'll have to. I haven't. I haven't messed with her a ton, but I believe that does throw it on everybody. Wow. Perfect. Perfect. Even better. Let's try it out. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'll try it out while we're talking. All the boys going off. <laughs> <sighs> All right, here we go. So you know, it's been a couple months since a Lantern Month came out. Last Lantern Month was a little, you know, a little disappointing. But well, and let me interrupt okay. real quick. I have to say, I'm excited that I'm getting the boy talking about Belize before his own podcast gets him talking about Belize. <laughs> so if you want to mention your own podcast as well. <laughs> oh yeah, t- t- tune in tomorrow if you want to see a four hundred thousand gem spending spree. <laughs> well, I didn't even mean your um your stream. I'm talking about your crime alley. Oh yeah, check that out too. Me, Josh Rars, and mostly costly. We do a little podcast where we talk about DC comics, DC legends, and other DC affiliated things. Um, uh, I, it's fun because I actually listen to it for because I'm too lazy to read the comics nowadays. I just don't have time. Oh yeah, but I kind of enjoy hearing you guys talk about it, so it kind of keeps me in the um in the loop in, in so. the loop a little bit. Yeah, they, they read a little bit uh, more of the more recent stuff than I am. I'm still kind of a little bit behind on my comic reading. So, um, but yeah, check it out. Crime Alley Podcast. Yeah, it's, it's a, fun. It's a um, Raid Shadow Legends podcast. That's right. Sponsored by Raid Shadow <laughs> Legends, actually. <laughs> Mostly costly. I think he talks about Raid Shadow Legends more than he does DC Legends during it. So. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there, there's at least a 30% segment on every on every episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does make it sound uh, very appealing. He does. I mean, the game. I mean, I mean, yeah, the game. The game's all right, I guess. Yeah. I can't get into it because, you know, I can't. Yeah, I already I can't, got. I, can't I already got it. one game that sucked me in. So. Yeah, I can't do it. I, I, the last yeah, I don't know how you can do two games sometimes. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't do it. <clears throat> all right, sorry. But, Go ahead, please. No, you're good. <laughs> please. Oh my gosh. Let's let's just start with the with the first the first thing, right? The first before we even get into the character. This girl's hot. They did such a good job. I mean, she just looks such fantastic. a good job. Both skins. When the reveal came out, I was a little bit like, um, okay, that looks. I mean, like, cool, but like, that's not really what Blaze looks like. Like, whatever, right? And then the three D models, way better. It's I was funny. Like, that has been a couple times now where the art on the reveal looks not very good. Like, and but then in the game and just the model looks fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's been. I was like, whoa, because when I got I got her, I, I only took her up to to the legendary one just because I wanted to make sure I had all the abilities and everything, kind of get a little bit of feel for her before, you know, tomorrow and the um, the Armageddon of my gems happens. But um, <laughs> yeah, all all those Olays, no more Olay gems. But anyways, we uh, they did really good. Day. All right, well, good because I'm gonna need them. <laughs> uh. But no, just like the design of the character, when I saw the basic skin, I was like, oh my, that's my new favorite tune. That's my new favorite tune right there in the whole game. That's my favorite tune. And then the legendary, like I said, is, is it was Those super. Those flaming wings are phenomenal. I mean, they just look super amazing. good. Super good. I think that they are, pro- and, and this is going back a while, I'm thinking about animations on skins, and I don't think anything has been that good since, like, the like the flames on Larfleeze, like, two and a half years ago. Yeah, it, it looks fantastic. Could, could be wrong. But, yeah, no, she looks fantastic, and this girl is a tank, guys. She is a tank. She takes Arcus double hits. She, she struggles a little bit against special damage, is what I've found sometimes. Um, she's strength. Burger, have you seen she? that too? Yeah, she's strength, which is weird, but yes. Oh yeah, strength yeah. Burst. There's yeah, she definitely um, takes it down a lot. Like, she's not as tanky whenever she's getting hit by special damage. Like I found Lex, Lex kind of ruins her day a little bit, but which is okay. sad because he's still around, prevalent. Not as bad as he was, but Martian Manhunter's still there, and he does heavy damage too. Yeah, I haven't seen too like I, I think I, and it's a couple of the videos that I sent you. She she takes she takes manhunter damage okay. It's just for some reason Lex, I don't know if Lex 
does more damage or what, I'm, or maybe the Lexes I'm running against are, are higher rebirths because there's a ton of those out there. But she struggles, I feel like, especially against Lex, especially with him applying the uh, buff immunity on her. So she can't get the men's, she can't get the awareness, she can't get her taunt. Um, with her legendary points, she won't be able to get her true sight. So I think that'll be that'll be a little bit rough. But besides that, she's a beast. She is just like she she lives up to those thick thighs, thick thighs, thighs. <laughs> I can't speak. She lives up to that. Like she just stands there, and takes a beating. Um, and, and I in one of the videos I sent you, there was uh, a manhunter Arcus on the other side. And she was down to like 20% HP. And then within like, she took like two Arcus big hits. And then the next turn, because of all her men's that she had built up, she was like at 150% HP. And I was like, whoa, how'd that happen? Um, so I think that once she kind of gets going and, and, and maybe even one of those tanks that's at high rebirth going to be real annoying to take down. Yeah, I... She's a character I've been thinking. Uh, I can't. I just can't rebirth more greens. You can, really dude. Just run all greens. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> like all my rebirths are greens. It's just it's ridiculous. And now I decided I was going to go ahead and finish Brainiac because he's RB four and why not? But it was just it's it's out of control. I do have a couple of reds now though, at least. There you go. I got three. See? I got so three. But. You you toss one red into a three green comp, and then if they bring a blue, they're screwed. So you see, yeah, that's there you good, go. Good call. Um, but so why don't we talk legendary order for her? Because I'm very interested in that <clears> as well. <throat> Even though I'll pick her, I'll buy the, the, tomorrow night is her sale. Thursday night, right? Tomorrow night is her sale. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay, that's yep. that's why I thought it was usually the. The Thursday. Eight forty five so. Pacific to see Rebirth Four. Eight forty five Pacific <laughs> to see Rebirth Four. <laughs> You're not going Rebirth Five? Well, she I mean I mean oh, yeah, like she's got she's got an event at the end of the month. I mean, yeah, I mean sure. okay. You know, come yeah. on. Come Nothing's on. a wasting this year. <laughs> <laughs> do you have the tokens? Uh I ha I do have forty tokens to take her straight there and then we'll figure out the other ten somehow. Oh, right. We got login tokens by the end of her event, and then with raid, we'll you get, get the other five real quick. So, better raids. Uh, it's only three tokens a month, bro. <laughs> it is kind of sad <laughs> when you put it into that perspective, though, isn't it, Burger? It's like, yeah, three hundred thousand like gems for three so hundred. <laughs> so here's the deal. Here's the deal. I say that right, and when I say it, only three three tokens a month, that sounds. Like, oh, that's barely any. But when you put that into perspective, right, it's it's a little over three rebirths a year, right? A so, it's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, you know, it's like 30, what is that, 36 yeah, tokens 36. a year? So, it yeah, that, that's more, a though. bigger number. Didn't they used to give right? 10 at one point? Yeah, they did. The first two raids, they gave yeah. 10. That's what it yeah. should be. And that's I mean, what it should be. If you're top 10, it's not that bad, right? But, man, it would really suck to be number two. And look up and see us sitting number one and be like, damn it, I got three less. And we push that hard. <laughs> well, so here's the other thing, right? I mean, we get top 50 and we get two, and everyone who gets second place gets two. So Yeah, that's true. Like, Wait, there's you know. no difference between top 10 and top 50? Uh, I mean, do they, they might get three. I think they get three. It goes five, three, two? Yeah, I th I'm almost certain. All right, so they got to compete with y'all. To get one extra token, miss me with that. I'm good. I'll take my two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so really, second place, you guys should just, like, slow down. Yeah, I mean, like, second place <laughs> should yeah. just stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that's what um, they used to tell me in Kingdom of Atlantis. They were like, yeah, we're fine with third and fourth place. We're, we don't need to fight for two. Well, you, you know what they say about, about being first, right? <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. There you go. Hey. Say, uh, legendary order. Sorry, tangent. I go off. Uh, Burger, you're the one with all five legendary points, so I want to know what you did. I mean, you went one, two, three, four, five, right? But like, what would you like think after playing with all five? Um, so personally, I start off with their five. 
I mean, any, anything that you're starting off the battle, you know, with taunt and death immunity, uh, uh, that that to me is is number one. Uh, second, I would go with um, probably her four mm. um, on that, and then what does the four do went, again? Because I can't see it on my screen. Um, seventy-five percent chance to stun a random enemy with enrage. Okay. And then that's probably what I'd go with, but. <laughs> yeah everybody would and then i then i did three uh with true sight burger if you tell me that you went five four three two one after i just said one two three oh four, no five. Actually, sorry <laughs> I, actually i went uh five four one two three so her her one i did that uh for the 50 percent additional damage if police has taunt because um, again, I think everything kind of uh, starts and, and finishes with her having taunt and, and the enemy team being enraged. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, but I did five, four, one, two, three. Five, four, one, two, three. Okay, I for sure went three last. I think like my my plan would have been to go just like a, um, I just would flip one and four, but it's not that big of a deal. Just because I feel like sometimes, like, if, if she gets enraged, having that extra bonus, especially with all the enrage running around in Siege right now, right? If she gets enraged, having that bonus damage on her basic would be pretty clutch. How, how big of a difference is that on her one? I don't know. I don't have it. Oh, okay. Burger. Burger. You know. So, the, you know, I really haven't noticed a big difference on it. She uh, doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, like, I, I really, because it's all centered on her taunt, and so, I mean, like, I always try to start off with her, too, and mm -hmm. so by the time I get to that point of using her one, usually, um, like, she doesn't have taunt anymore. Yeah, that's where I'm almost wondering if her two might be more important, just because that heal immunity on the whole team is pretty, that's huge. I mean, that, like, all the annoying White Lanterns and Astro teams, and the... Uh, <coughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. Grundies of the world. That's a that's a really nice ability. I mean, think about it. All the annoying teams have a taunter. Usually, yeah. Do you did you right. were you able to test it to see if that does the whole team? I did. Yeah, it's, it does. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I thought I thought I remember that. It does do it though. Awesome. Team wide heal immunity. That is pretty freaking good. Yeah, that's that's tough. I don't. Know. I almost think that one might should move up with that, knowing that, but. I guess if they don't have a taunter, which you do see a fair amount of March Man Hunter teams with no taunter, but true, true. It's still really um, good. Burger, who I've been running, I, I have literally been running a, a ton of matches with her since she came out on Sunday. Um, but who have you had the most fun running her with? Personally, like I, I think she goes pretty well with Harley Quinn. Mm-hmm. Because if, if, if her passive procs where she, everybody gets enraged, then, like, it kind of plays into her part. Um, and you can just nuke someone on turn one. Yeah. And so so that, to me, is kind of like a... I, I, I like her with, with them, but, um, you know, she... I mean, like, she does pretty well. I mean, obviously, with Lex, does well, and... Um, but so far, like the best luck I've had now, I haven't played with her a ton. I've, I've been playing with Shiva a lot more, um, is when I was messing with her, like I, I, I enjoyed it a little bit more with her, uh, with Harley Quinn, just because if not, like she's really not hitting hard and, mm -hmm. you know, and her speed is really, is really rough. So, um, like I, like to me, like you kind of have to make the most of her like low speed. And so when she does move, like you want to, you want to get something out of it. And so, yeah, I I was playing with her a little bit more with Harley Quinn, but I mean, you've played with her a lot more, so. Okay, okay. So a couple things that 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 I've that I've been running her with. One, super good with Black Flash. Okay, and I'll tell you why I think that she's super good with Black Flash, because if you run her with someone else like a Harley Quinn or an Eclipso or a John Constantine or a Parallax or uh, Yellow Lantern Sinestro, I don't know if I already said him, you can literally keep the enrage on people the whole the whole game, the whole match. Wow. Right? Yeah, I could see that. Because you just re keep resetting their turn meter, so they're always enraged. Um, 
I've been running a lot of that. That's fun. Super good with Kilowog. Kilowog kind of helps make up for her um, speed deficit, right? Because every time someone gets uh, every time someone gets crit in the match, uh, Kilowog will dish out empowered strength ups to them, right? So since she's sitting there taunting with death immunity and she's slow, she gets hit. She gets hit probably two or three times before she gets a turn, and then she gets a turn and she has four, six empowered strength ups. So all of her abilities are like ready to pop, right? Um, so that one's been been fun. But Yellow Lantern Sinestro has actually been the most fun that I've had with her, which it is weird. Seem like they pair really well because she's got the stun, she's got the enrage. He's got the enrage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could definitely see that. And I would think that um, Saint Walker would be good with her and Yellow Lantern Sinestro. Yep, he is. He is very good. And when I enraged. wish, like, part of me is like heartbroken that again they gave me another lantern that could have been Red Affinity, but they didn't make him red. But I will, I will back off of being too disappointed because if she was red, she would die. To yeah, she Lex, Manhunter, that. Arcus, like she would just be dead. Um, but it makes it tough because then you got all the other lanterns that you want to run her with, at least if you're me, and they're all green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? So I run the same thing, same problem you have, hate. But uh Walker's really good with her. Um Manhunter also is is decent because she can kind of stack some awarenesses um once she once they kind of get going, right? He gives he gives out the awareness at the beginning, kind of gives her an extra turn to survive even longer, uh, and start stacking the awarenesses from her passive, um, right? Where she's taunting, and if she's taunting, she has a uh, she at the beginning of every turn, she has a seventy five percent chance to apply the mends, and if she has taunt, she gets awareness. So at the beginning of her turn. If she has taunt, she gets an awareness stack. Just like, easy peasy. Right? Um, So, she's a beef. She's beefcakes. She's got it. Yeah, I really like her. She seems like a really cool character. My only kind of complaint is that I don't like running Harley and I don't like running, um, what's his name? Eclipso. And it seems like... Because they never dodge? Well, yeah. And it just seems like she... She, she's only got one ability that gives that you can apply rage with, so it seems like it's not easy to get in rage out with her. I think an, another one that is good, and he's uh, a lovely C C lister on the on the tier list yeah. since he has been right. You know it. You love him. You know him. You love him. Kyle Rayner Parallax. Oh yeah. Hands out in rage passively. Okay? Yeah, that's a good. I, I, I and you've got him. High rebirth, don't Rebir- you? Rebirth three, baby. Yeah, I get the, I can see where you could build a team with her with him. Yep. So I put it, I put together a team where it was like Saint Walker lead, so they get you know an extra twenty percent stat boost uh, on top of the rebirth, right? So it's it's Saint Walker, Parallax, uh, a Blaze, and then Alan Scott hiding behind both of those taunters or yeah. Sapphire. You can swap out either one of those. Sapphire. Okay, is also super good with Bleeze because Bleeze buffs on basic. Yeah. So she gets she's crit immune for pretty much the Man, entire she match. Just, she fits your lantern comp something fierce. Oh, I know. It's it's freaking great. I love it. The only thing I'm sad about is that she's only going to be like eleven hundred, eleven point one hundred at rebirth five. That's the only that's the only bummer. <laughs> but I won't pass. I won't pass. Uh, M4 for the, the, the that top, 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 top power team. But yeah, the characters okay. I always like don't seem to have a high power score either. It's the worst. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, any final thoughts before we wrap this up? I don't think so. Gear them up. Tune in tomorrow. Check it out. And we might even do, if you're listening still and you're a tier list listener, we might even do a, a, a little side episode since we didn't get into it very deeply. Um, we were in a big hurry on that episode to talk through some of the tunes that got demotions that everybody's have complaints about. So um, stay tuned for that. We might try to squeeze one of those in here soon. And um, I think that is everything. Guys, I appreciate it as always. Burger, appreciate you uh, giving us the early preview of everybody. And, no um, problem. It was a good time. 
if you all have any extra video, send them my way because I'm going to try to get this out soon. So, cool. Right. Maybe tonight even. I uh, appreciate it again. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. Thanks. Later. Bye. Hey, I'm Josh Shurars. Thank you for listening to the WROL broadcast. If you like the show, consider becoming a Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash WROL broadcast and get early reviews on new characters. And for even more Legends action, check out my daily stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash and watch my L5 Etrigan wreck the boys Rebirth 5 Arcus.